This section heading is called Easing Administration. So now the way that we're going to ease administration within this section is we're going to alter the way that our prompt displays the path. So by default, your prompt wants to display what is known as the absolute path. So now because we're currently within the home directory, it uses a tilde to represent that path. However, if we wanted to view the directory that we're currently working in, we would type PWD and we would see the absolute path. So think of the absolute path as the location from where you are to your root directory. So now here's the significance of this. So once we navigate away from our home directory, it's no longer going to use a symbol to represent that path. Instead, it's going to display that absolute path within the prompt. So let's actually test it out. So let's change directory to user local Hadoop and then inside of Hadoop's configuration directory. So basically we're setting our working directory to Hadoop's configuration directory. So here we can see the absolute path being displayed within the prompt. We can also see it being displayed along the top of the terminal up here. So this is kind of like overkill. We don't need it being displayed within two places. And besides, when we're working within the terminal, what we're going to find when we start dealing with Hadoop is that we're going to be going down deep into the file system tree and our prompt will actually be way over here. So the way that we're going to ease administration is we're not going to display the absolute path. Instead, we're going to display what is known as the relative path. So think of the relative path as just the directory that you're currently working in. So to do this, we're going to edit what is known as the prompt string one variable or PS1. So first we're going to view the current settings for this variable. So we're going to use sed, we're going to view just line 60 of the bash RC file. and here's the PS1 being defined and then within here you're going to see this lowercase w. So this lowercase w within this variable it's used to display right here the absolute path. Now to get it to display the relative path we're just going to change this lowercase w to an uppercase w. So I'm going to hit the up arrow key and what we're going to do now is we're going to edit the in place file which is our bash rc file. We're going to substitute on that line a lowercase w with an uppercase W. So we'll verify that those changes have been made. We can see that it has. And then what we want to do to read in the changes is we have to source our file. So we'll do a source dot bash RC. And now I'll scroll through command history and I'll change directory back to Hadoop's configuration directory. We can see over here we're now displaying the relative path and up on the top of the terminal we still see the absolute path. Now if we did want to see the absolute path within the terminal once again just execute the PWD command. 